the standard of care for most healthy, fit patients would be a combination of fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and rituximab based on the fact that this is not only the most uh, effective regimen uh, shown so far, but actually in a randomized trial published by the Germans, this regimen actually produced in improved survival. And this is one of the first trials that ever showed an improved survival with any regimen in CLL. However, there are exceptions to this for patients who may not be good candidates for this. Uh, patients with 17P deletion, these are patients where chemotherapy is generally ineffective, partly because they're lacking an intact P53, because of that 17P deletion that's missing. And they also often have a mutated allele on the other 17 chromosome. Unfortunately, there is no standard of care for those patients because nothing works that well. And really, right off the bat, they should be candidates for clinical trials. And they should also be considered for alginate transplant and first remission. And then finally, the other group where one might not consider FCR as a standard of care are elderly or unfit patients. So it is a much more difficult regimen to give to people over the age of 70, particularly if they have comorbidities. Um, again, I think it's reasonable to do clinical trials. If you want to use FCR, uh, which you might want to do if the patient has bad disease, I think it's reasonable to start with a dose reduction in patients over the age of 70, particularly that, remember, fludarabine is renally excreted, and most elderly patients don't have normal kidney function. So in effect, if you're giving them standard doses, you're probably overdosing them. So I think you can use this regimen in an older population, but you probably should start with a dose reduction.